What part of the what part of the rules? I'm what part of no female guests in the room did you not understand? You know, she, figured she wasn't staying. She just dropped cracks, dropped something off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying before curfew, but Roy came 30 minutes early before curfew, so that's what happened. Yeah. She wasn't staying though. You know what I'm saying? I never had no intentions on her chilling. Yeah. <clears throat> but you're right. I'm the rules. Yeah. I mean, I got club rules and. And we're going to buy by. So I am going to release you. Sorry, but, you know, this is kind of, this is our world, man. We got rules and, you know, yeah, yeah we got to buy by. So not the first time I've done this for this particular violation, but um, I thought I made it myself really clear about, you know, what we do and what we don't do. It's not that hard. We only got a couple rules. So. Wish the best. Okay. All right. Appreciate it, Coach. Good luck to you. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> well Coach told him no females allowed in the room. He received the instructions, thought it was a joke. This is why it's so important for men to control their lusts. All he had to do was go one night without a female in his room. And guess what? He wasn't even able to go past one night. See, the main thing about it is when it comes to a female, you got to mess with a female that respect your discipline. You got to mess with a female that respect your grind. A lot of these females, they see you and they want you in. They want you, but they don't really care about your motion. They don't really care about what you have going on. The coach is looking at him like, listen, I thought we made it plain and clear. I said no females allowed in the room. And when it comes to men maintaining their energy, maintaining their life force, coaches of boxers understand how important it is to stay focused NFL coaches, NBA coaches, they understand when it's time to train. They understand how important it is for the players to stay focused. The coach, the general managers, everybody understands when it's time to put in work. It's time to put in work. Business before pleasure. A lot of these NFL coaches, they won't hesitate to get rid of you. If they didn't, did not invest big money behind you and you are a role player, they won't hesitate to get rid of you. This man right here was a role player. He thought life was sweet. He thought he had it made. Let me tell you guys something. No matter what you do, make sure you seal the deal first and then make sure you dominate in your field. And I'm going to say this again. Whatever you do, make sure you seal the deal and make sure you dominate. The worst feeling in the world is thinking that you have something in the palm of your hands and it literally slips away from you. The coach wasn't playing with him. He had a smile on his face. He was like, but she just came up anyway. Now look at him. He's concerned. He's literally on the edge of his seat. Like a movie At the end Thinking Are they really going to let me go Because I was getting action Are they really going to let me go Because I was shooting a movie in my hotel room Are they really going to let me go Because I was messing with a groupie Are they really going to cut me This man thought it was a game He was smiling Not understanding A lot of men Listen when it comes to manhood it doesn't matter what you do for a living. You have to handle your business. Now, as men, we don't take disrespect. And in this situation, the coach is looking at this man like, as much as I want you here, you disrespected me, you disrespected the team, and you disrespected the organization. Let me tell you guys something about disrespect. Disrespect is a culture. The more you allow it, the more people will do it. And I'm going to say this again. Disrespectful people love to disrespect others. This man right here is on the edge of his seat, but he would not have to be on the edge of his seat. Matter of fact, he would not have to be in a coach's office if he wasn't disrespectful. But guess what? Disrespect 
disrespectful people mess with disrespectful people. And the same way he was disrespectful to his coaches, guess what? The female was also disrespected toward, she was disrespectful towards his dreams. You guys have to understand a lot of these women, they mess with you because you have motion. And a lot of men have egos, but understand if you have motion as a man, continue your motion. And I'm gonna say this again, life is a fight. And at the end of the day, you could fight for one month, you could fight for two months, you could fight for two years, you could fight for two decades. But at the end of the day, as warriors, we fight and we fight until the end. So you guys have to understand until you're ready to walk away from the game, until you're ready to walk away from the job, every time you go to work, it's time to go to work. And if you are messing with a female who doesn't understand that it's time to go to work, at the end of the day, guess what? There are plenty of women out there. A new female turns 18 every day. When you have handled your business, when you have completed everything that you set, all your goals that you wanted to fulfill. When you completed everything, guess what? Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Now, look at this guy. One night with a female. What do you think the phone call is going to be? What do you think the text message is going to be? When a woman is talking to you because you have quote unquote status and you have motion, Every time she talks to you, she's going to talk about your motion. So could you imagine the text message that he has to text her? And she's going to be like, how was work? How was training camp? And he has to reply, well, I got fired today. What? Why did you get fired? I got fired because I was making out with you. Keep this YouTube friendly. I was making out with you in a hotel room. Could you imagine the embarrassment. And guess what? When you do things like this, females lose respect for you. I don't care what nobody say. Women love strong men. And the fact that women love strong men as a man is so important that you maintain your strength. This man literally has to take a walk of shame over one night in a hotel room that was funded by his team. At the end of the day, the team paid for the hotel room. So the fact that the team paid for the hotel room, why not respect the rules of the team? And I'm going to tell you why a lot of men, we must work on ourselves. And most importantly, we must work on our urges. Now, it's easier said than done. But trust me, when you work on yourself and you control this flesh, listen, even in the Bible, it says the mind is willing, but the flesh is weak. This man was in the NFL. This man is living the majority of fantasy football, fantasy football players. You guys have to understand this man is really in the NFL. This is no football fantasy. He's living a dream of others and he lost his dream. He lost his NFL position over one night of passion. Listen, stay focused before you end up homeless. And I'm going to say this again because this man right here probably has bills like everybody else has bills. I'm about to black out. Stay focused before you end up homeless. That goes for the guy at the warehouse. It goes for the guy at the post office. It goes for the guy with the business. And it also goes for NFL players. God bless. Let it breathe.